Hello, I'm Penny St, and I'm the host of Peace with Penny. Welcome. Tuesday, March 9th at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, we'll be recording a special episode of Peace with Penny in cooperation with Unity is Strength, a United Religions Initiative Cooperation Circle on Quora. I'll be interviewing Professor Mohammed S. Dajani Daoudi, and afterwards, you'll have the opportunity to ask Professor Dajani questions for a full 30 minutes. We hope you'll join us. Professor Dajani is a Jerusalem-born Palestinian who went from being a student activist and a member of Fatah fighting for Palestinian liberation during the 1960s to being a peace activist. He founded the Wasatia Movement of Moderate Islam, an organization that spreads the message of understanding, tolerance, coexistence, and brotherhood. Interestingly, he can trace back his lineage in Jerusalem for over 400 years. His family were the custodians of King David's tomb. From 2001 to 2014, he worked at El Quds University. He gained notoriety when in 2014, Professor Dijani took 27 of his students to Auschwitz. When his trip was written about in the newspaper and mistranslated into Arabic, he was vilified as a traitor and collaborator by Palestinians. In 2015, his car was torched in front of his house. In our Peace with Penny podcast, we will talk about his change of heart toward Israelis, his work against Holocaust deniers, and his other peace activities through the years for which he's paid dearly in both his career and personally. Do you have some burning questions that you'd like to ask him? If you can join us live, please do in the question and answer session after our interview. Otherwise, feel free to send them to me at penny at penny, S-T-E-E, like my last name, dot com. I can't believe that we just finished recording our sixth episode of Peace with Penny. If you missed any of them, you can find the recordings on my website at pennyst.com under podcasts. I hope you are enjoying them as much as I am. So how did I get involved with wanting to work on peace? It was the summer of 2014, and for my son's bar mitzvah present, just like many Jewish parents, we wanted him to bond with the Holy Land. Oh, it worked perhaps too well. My husband had stayed back at the hotel, and our friends, my son and I, had just stopped in a pharmacy. Run! Run to the bomb shelter, sweetie! Please! Please hurry! I didn't hear the sirens at first, but the Israelis did. They're used to hearing these things. We ran to the back of the storeroom. It was a 12-foot by 24-foot windowless bomb shelter. My heart's pounding. Boom! Boom! I hear it and feel the percussion of the exploding bombs. I'm trying not to get sick. I look at my 13-year-old son and I think I'll never forgive myself if something happens to him. That's an excerpt from a speech I gave to the Orange County Jewish Bar Association. It was the first but not the last time we had to run to a bomb shelter. Our adventure and my transformation is also the subject of my book, Blasted from Complacency, A Journey from Terror to Transformation in Israel. There is no chapter in a parenting book on what to do when a war starts and you're on a family vacation. Think touring extraordinary and sacred sites mixed with cowering in bomb shelters. I'm still trying to get over the Jewish guilt of taking my son to war for his bar mitzvah present. The impact of being human targets helped me understand the plight of Israelis living like this, and it also made me want to work on peace. How Israel is often described on the news is not what I'd seen with my own eyes, and I felt Palestinian parents also preferred their children playing safely in their backyards. The missiles exploded just near enough to blow apart my world as I knew it, forever changing me. And you'd never recognize my life today with what it was like then. I believe I found my life's purpose. I hope you can join Professor Dijani, me, and our Unity is Strength friends on Tuesday, March 9th at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. We'll be live on Zoom at the link at the end of this clip. Please register. We'll also be on Facebook Live on my Peace with Penny Facebook page. 
where you can also find the Zoom link to our podcast posted. If you have a scheduling conflict, you can always see the recordings on my website at pennyst.com under podcasts. Thank you, and may you live in peace, shalom, and salam. Thank you.